Hey everyone, this is Jerry, and this video is going to cover the two LOR auto conceit scripts I made for both versus AI and for PvP. If you want to skip this video, the GitHub link will be in the video description. The contents of this video will be a demo showcasing one description action that's going to be followed up by a short tutorial on how to set everything up. And then I'll go over the code and what it actually does and what part of it that you could change or modify. All right, on to the demo. So to get started, you would first need to download AutoHotKey from the website. And this is Windows only as far as I can tell. After that, you would want to download this um, random bezier.ahk file and also one or both of these uh, autoconceit scripts. I mean, they're all scripts, but um, so you could either do this just by downloading them as zip and unzipping it, or you just open one of them up and just copy and paste it. So currently I have the versus AI script copy pasted. After downloading AutoHotKey, you would right click on your desktop, uh, new AutoHotKey script. In this case, this is just going to be like a demo. So this is AI. Oops. And open it up in your, in a text editor. And then copy paste it in. And once you want to, um, when you decide you want to start the script, you just double click it. And then in this case, the, the starting key strokes, I guess, is Control and J. And you just do Control J. But this is, well, this starts a script. But um, these scripts assumes that your, the, that the Legend of Terra is full screen. If you do decide that you want to stop the script at any time, you can just do, currently it's binded to escape. So if you press escape, it will stop the script. So onto the more technical side. So how this code works is that first I would, I first determine where the, um, where each button that needs to get clicked in relation to where it is on the display. So instead of a hard coding where the button would be on a, 1080p display or 4k display. I did it by ratios and this makes it so that this should have a better compatibility with basically any 16 by nine aspect ratio display, regardless of what display resolution. Well, if it's high enough resolution, then this should work. So that's the code here that does the um, X and Y coordinates of whatever button needs to click. And I'm also using a uh, master focus or yeah, this master focus um, random bezier file. And I haven't changed anything for this um, function. But if you want to change any of the parameters, such as the duration of the mouse movement or the um, how many control points it has to make the, um, the path or just changing the, the path style, this is where you would change it. And this was where you would essentially adjust the parameters. Um, after each click, or I, actually before, in between each mouse movement and the click, I just have a um, a sleep timer, just in just 
in case um, it like oversamples the clicking or whatever. Um, and within this loop function, I currently have set it to loop 10 times because versus AI, it only, well, you would only get EXP up to the 10th loss. 11 losses or more for that day yields zero EXP currently. So I have, yeah, after um, starting a match, when it's like searching for a match for AI, you can decrease the time here. But this is just, I just have a more time for the delay just to allow for any um, loading animations. And in the case for PVP, which the, the code is basically identical to the versus AI, um, having a higher time is good in case matchmaking takes a long time. So it's better to allow for a longer delay time than a shorter one, because you want to make sure that the button that you're gonna click on is going to be at the spot and it's going to be loaded and all ready for you to click. Because if you miss one button click, this whole loop function won't work properly. Um, yeah, so I have a sleep function here, or I have a sleep, then space. So this should, the first space would confirm your hand. The second space essentially either skips your turn or accepts your opponent's like whatever action, if your opponent does make a turn one action. And then after that, it would uh, proceed to click on the settings gear icon and then surrendering, confirming surrender. And then this sleep timer is to allow for the end of gaming loading time because there is animation at that point. So you want to make sure that everything fully loads before you continue to make, um, continue on to the next match. And here you can, I uh, currently set to escape. If you press on escape key, this would stop the script, but you could change the, um, I guess the command for this, or you can also change the command of, um, of the starting script command from control J to something else. 